Greetings, villains, vigilantes, heroes, and heroines. You're tuned in to Project Supervillain. We're your hosts. I'm Mark Drifter. I'm Midnight White. And today we have teamed up with our friends at Nest, the national esports tournament, to bring you our first ever game review. That's right. Today we're casting off into uncharted territory. <gasps> Indie games! No, no, no. I mean, yes, but no, actually, we're going to space, you bastard. So today we're jumping into. Void Bastards. Bastards! Yeah. Being cast adrift in outer space can be an unnerving idea for many, but for the interstellar convicts aboard the prisoner transport vessel known as the Void Ark, confronting the hostile terrors and isolation of the Void is their only potential salvation from both death and further detention should they be able to survive their mission. Developed by Blue Man Shu and published by Humble Bundle, Void Bastards takes place in the Sargasso Nebula, where if one commits a crime and gets locked up, the punishments are far worse than in any galaxy you've visited recently. As a penal client of the Void Ark, your chances of parole are slim at best. The likelihood of encountering another human or other friendly life form is nil, and you've been tasked with going where others have met their end to salvage their failures. This involves traversing outer space to find the seemingly abandoned wrecks of old vessels floating astray in the cosmos. Exploring these procedurally generated derelicts in first person, your mission will be to loot them of all resources and parts and ultimately survive against the horrors lurking within their gloomy halls. With its vibrant and discernible comic book style visuals, one of the coolest parts about this game is the design aspects chosen in everything from levels to menus. Each vessel type has a distinguishable color palette and certain features that remain consistent throughout, while others characterize each unique class of void ship. The atmosphere created in the game is both chilling and intriguing, akin to its inspirator, the System Shock series. This effect is compounded by both the soundtrack and the audio of the game, which provides the perfect ambiance for each map, menu, and event. As a roguelite, the characters you play as are mostly inconsequential, but each of them has their own set of perks and quirks, which we'll get into in just a bit. Aside from the main character, there aren't many others besides Bax, the cheeky smartass Lightbright, whose only goal is to ensure the repair of the FTL drive on the Void Arc. Feel free to use these items constructed by a former client. A little scrubbing with bleach should remove the bloodstains. No matter how many clients have to be sacrificed. Other than Bax, you will find only enemies in the corridors of the long forgotten ships you will explore. Blobby Exploding Goos, Space Ghosts, Big Daddy Cosplayers, and a bunch of these guys, along with many more. Also, be sure to listen carefully. You're going to get roasted whether you like it or not. Surprise, Bookface! As mentioned earlier, ships are procedurally generated, but their consistencies are evident in the level design and layouts of each map, which helps with the cohesiveness of the experience. The rooms you will find, such as the Helm, FTL Drive, Atmosphere Chamber, and Security Centers will be aboard most vessels, along with others that can change your approach to each map. Some ships will be without power as you board, and you will have to find the generator room to restore power before you can do anything. This is just one example of the many conditions or hazards within the levels, so be sure to check the description of the vessel you're attempting to board before doing so. While the main objective of the game is to acquire the part to repair the Void Arc's FTL Drive, the game also gives the player side objectives in the form of collecting parts to upgrade not only their weapons and equipment, but also their personal abilities. Along with this, each prisoner has randomized status effects that you start out with, which are... Uh... Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit! Not to worry, for if you have a status effect that you dislike, aboard some vessels you can find a gene therapy machine to replace and add effects. Being a sci-fi horror game with prominent survival elements, there is a substantial focus on looting, crafting, and resource management. There is a multitude of parts and accessories you can find which will allow you to further develop your weapons and gear that you will take with you on your expeditions. Furthermore, there are scrap items to collect, which are used for crafting among other resources. This is where the game opens up your options for how you approach your mission. Some weapons are straightforward like the pistol or the stapler, both of them operating like typical firearms. More exotic weapons, like the Spiker, can hit your target without alerting them and will poison them, draining their health over time, allowing you to proceed unnoticed. There are also a plethora of grenades, traps, and gadgets at your disposal, which can have many effects ranging from stuns, distractions, or simple detonation. 
Its quirky, dark humor and perfectly delivered dialogue will evoke hearty chuckles aplenty, which adds a much appreciated contrast to the game's normally dismal and ominous tone. As I was playing, I found it difficult to pull myself away, as I wanted to know what was going to happen to the client I was playing as, and what fate would await them. I found myself wanting to stay alive at all costs to further upgrade my client, to generally be as dynamic as possible. And such an accomplishment isn't hard, as the multitude of upgrades to search for and acquire means that exploring each crack and crevice of every map you visit is never a waste of time, as you're bound to find something to help you in your long voyage. Styled like a comic book, its lively colors, vividness, and additions of comic book staples such as onomatopoeias and speech bubbles succeed in capturing the feeling of being a part of this world within a graphic novel. Though simple in mechanics, each one is implemented cleverly, and fans of other first-person shooters will feel instantly familiar with the game's groove. This game is badass. Although we haven't played through in its entirety, uh, we likely will, as its core gameplay is sure to provide almost a chronic sense of enjoyment, and its compelling nature makes you want to envelop yourself in its thralls ever more. Though certain elements, such as stealth mechanics, could use some refinement along with the AI, it doesn't take away from the game in the slightest, and oftentimes it can result in very humorous occurrences, ones that rival Elder Scrolls oh, games. Yeah. But words will never do it justice. You must venture out into the void to affirm it for yourself. Project Supervillain is officially giving you permission to go out and buy this game right now. Because if you don't, I'm gonna find your house, I'll find where you live, and I'm gonna take your electric toothbrush and I'll shove it. If sci-fi, survival horror, and shooting piques your interest, this is one game you won't want to pass on. It's got a little niche for all fans of action games, a quality that is sure to make Void Bastards an instant classic for many. Thanks for tuning into our first game review. We thoroughly enjoyed our time with this game, and we hope you enjoyed our review, but we want to hear your opinion too. Does Void Bastards intrigue you? Did this video make you consider buying the game, or is it just not your style? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. If you liked the video, make sure you leave some support for us. We really appreciate it. Go check out the social media links in the description. We got YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Mixer, Twitch, all those platforms. Uh, we're pretty active on all of them, and we even have a Discord, which is kind of a VIP only thing. If you want to be involved in that, make sure you're following one of those platforms and send us a message to be invited, and we'll send you a link. And don't forget to check out our friends at Nest. That's National Esports Tournament. Their link will also be in the description. But that's enough for now, folks. So thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And project dismissed. Peace out, everybody. And you're still sitting here because... Go and buy the game!